Hey everybody, this is Anadad71 from Strongest Link Sports, and today we're going to go over how to make a optimizer for NFL using Google Sheets. This is not going to be a uh, Microsoft Excel. We're going to use Google Sheets. So the first step you're going to do is you're going to go to the DraftKings section. You're going to pick your game, go into the section where they list all everybody's names where you would choose your players. And there's a section there that says export to CSV. You click that, and this comes up. If you have any questions on that, uh, Unruh has a uh, video on it. I think DFS on demand shows you how to do it. Next Excel by Joe may also do it. I'm not going to go do it because it's, it's in several places. If you check any of those three, they do it numerous times. Uh, but once you get to this and you have your people loaded in, this is the DraftKings sheet right here. And the next step, we're going to put in value. And what we're going to do on that is we're going to, the reason why we do this is we're going to limit our players to 200. So we're going to have 201 rows. Uh, and we're going to put equals points divided by salary divided by 1,000. Okay. Put that in there. We're going to run this down because we're going to do it for everybody. Let's see if we can get it. To, uh... Yeah. Okay. So then we're going to take this and we're going to... Uh... We want to invert this from largest to smallest. So we're going to go Z to A. The biggest value, essentially, okay? We're going to go down, like I said, 201 spots. Uh, we're almost, it's, yeah, there we go. So we're going to get rid of these players right here. I'm going to get rid of them. They don't offer enough value at this point in the game. Some of them, as you can see, are zero points, etc. And there might be some guys you'd want to use in there. So always go over it to make sure you, you know you don't want these guys. I'm just doing it for the training video. I'm, I'm not going to go and go through each one with these. It's your personal preference, who you want to use. I could kill this. Just do uh, whatever you'd like and use whoever you'd like. Uh, but I'm just going to set up the optimizer. So we're going to delete that. We're going to have the 201 players. The next step, we're going to go over to here. And we're going to make a lock column. Okay? That's And I'll explain that in a second. Then we're going to have an in column. The in column is going to be a changing variables. Okay? Your lock column, let's go ahead and make those. We're going to make those all zeros right now, too. All right. The in column, we're going to leave it blank. Over here, we're going to list up our positions. Quarterback, running back, wide receiver, tight end. And I believe it's, let me just check and see what they, they list the defenses here, uh, so what you got? It's got to match. It's got to be. Uh, you want everything to line up. So let me find a defense in here. Wide receiver, tight end. Come on, where are you? It's got to be one in there. Unless they're trying to say the defenses don't offer enough uh, value, which maybe they don't. I don't know. Okay. Let me go over to DraftKings. Pain here. I, I, you know what I'll do? I'll go back into the CSV I saved. DraftKings salaries. We'll open that up. I would have thought a few of them would have got in there. I'm kind of surprised on that. Usually they do. So be mindful of that because that might uh, in the future. That could that could definitely uh, throw uh, some rain on your parade, so to speak. Let's do find. find. DST, okay. So we'll take the Bills DST for now. And you could, you know, we want them all in there, as many as you can. So make sure when you do the value switch that they're in there, because that's important, because it's, it's as much a position as anything else. We'll copy that. Let's go back over to our sheet. So we're going to have 202 today, folks. Base special values but I gotta have a, uh, a defense in there get rid of that okay so it's DST anyway and there may be more in there maybe I missed one I don't know but we'll go to DST yeah DST and what we're gonna begin doing here is we're gonna do if statements equals if and this is similar to what Unruh and everybody else has done in their videos. This is not different at all. If A2 equals, quote, 
Q B quote comma then we want one times this column so we're going to delete that we're going to write QB one times the in otherwise quote quote and we've got to close it with the parenthesis hit enter and we're going to cast that down now everywhere we see a quarterback we should get a zero for now that'll change to a one when the solver picks who it wants to use uh, let's see yeah see the zeros in there those are all the quarterbacks beautiful so that worked okay over here equals if a2 equals quote rb quote comma one times the in otherwise quote quote enter and we're going to run that down same way we're going to do this uh, for h position uh, so come on where are you I'm going to type this there uh, there we go Pull it up. Equals if A2 equals quote WR quote comma one times the in comma otherwise quote quote close it out enter bring it down. We're gonna bring that down to the last guy here. Right, right in there doesn't matter as long as it gets in there uh, we're gonna go over to here okay equals if right we already know it's a2 equals quote te quote comma one times the in otherwise quote quote close it enter and that's it there all right that's probably it's not recognizing the because I didn't touch the the actual cell equals if a2 equals quote te quote comma one times the in comma otherwise quote quote close it enter yeah it's gonna work now pull it down Okay, now you see everywhere there's a tight end, there's a zero. See, that's what we want. And this one here is our little one that was giving us some trouble a little minute ago. Equals if A2 equals quote DST quote comma one times the in comma otherwise quote quote close it enter. Run it down. Let's see if we got any others in there. We'll know in a minute. No, so they only got the buffalo in there. So that's that's the first time that's ever happened to me, I think. When we uh, invert for value, make sure we get the uh, the DSTs in there. That's that's I've never seen that happen to me before, but it, it did. So it can happen. Okay, now we got to put in our parameters. So what are we looking for? We're looking for, we want to, obviously the objection of this is to give us the most points under the salary cap, right? So we're going to do points. And what are we going to have for points? It's going to be equals sum. I'm sorry. Equals some product. Let me back that up. I don't want to screw anybody up on that. Points. Equals some product. Not sum. Some product. It's a multiplication. And we're going to multiply the in column. Okay. comma by the points column average points per game now you'd probably want to use real projections but i'm sure most people watching this already know that but i'll just point it out this is just a season average from last year it, it doesn't necessarily reflect anything that's going to happen this year let's go see what we got zero that's right because there's nothing in here so zero times any number is always zero so that's good that's what we want we want to go to salary because we have a salary restriction of fifty thousand dollars, right? One, two, three. There's fifty thousand. So we want to do a formula here equals some product. Oh, you know what? 